Hello everyone, welcome back, or if you're new, just welcome here to my channel in general. I have decided uh, exceptionally last minute to film a day in my life because I just realized that today may be the last Friday for bingo. No, but every first Friday, um, Temple University has a bingo night and it's wild. I can't wait to show you guys. I've been wanting to record it for as long as I've been going. I think this is like my third or fourth bingo. Um, it sounds so ridiculous and so like not exciting, but like I promise it's lit. So in a regular true Rachel fashion, I'm late to class, so I need to go. But um, I'll show you guys my outfit. Outfit of the day is, it's like 50 degrees today, so um, some pants with a hole in the knee just to get some ventilation uh, with this warm weather. Um, a heart, gold, gold heart belt buckle slash just belt. This is um, a velvet top. This is actually, if you saw my um, like Shein review, this is that top and I absolutely hated it, but it, it's not bad when it's under things. Like because it's under this cardigan, I think it works quite well, but like I wouldn't take this cardigan off all day even though it's warm. Um, and then I have like a little white scrunchie in my hair. Uh, it's cute, it's, it's one of my, uh, my typical had 20 minutes to get ready looks actually, believe it or not. This is a, yep. Um, that feeling when class starts in approximately five minutes and you're still at home. The professor's late to class too, so it's fine. He's always like a crisp seven minutes late, so I'm good. A beautiful morning in North Philadelphia. We have trashed all along the street as per usual. There's some new trash right over there. They don't have a trash can, and for whatever reason, that's just allowed. Uh, there's construction, again, as per usual. They have sped it up a bit in the past few days, which is good, and uh, we need to get to class. is all now part of the empire, the North American British Empire, all things from them, um, 1763. And the British government was going to have its citizens, or its subjects within England and Scotland, to pay for it. <coughs> they were going to pay for the war. There was an enormous amount of money. classic North Philadelphia. The wind is probably gonna start shit, so apologies for that in advance. I am done eating lunch. I usually have sushi like every day. It's really shitty sushi, but it's what's quickest. I only have like 40 minutes to get from class to the train. I couldn't film my portfolio class for you guys, which is my capstone, because the client actually came in today, which I wasn't expecting. So like, of course you're talking to the client and I wasn't gonna like film her um, during class, but I'm headed to the train now, headed to my internship. Been a long time. Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old sites. Yes, ma'am. So, walking to work, to my internship. Um, I filmed a day in my life last semester. Uh, it was my actually my first day of senior year, actually. Um, but that internship was at the Office of International Affairs. I am still there. I am currently actively their social media manager, have been for almost a year. But this is a different internship um, that I'm having at the same time as the other one. I split like the time in the week and half. Uh, but this is at an advertising agency. I am like a digital intern. I make graphics. I write the email marketing. Here comes the wind. And I plan like social media. So I'm just like a general digital intern. I don't, I don't know my role is um, really but I like it I like the company a lot it's really fun it's one of those like creative brand agencies where like people bring in their dogs I don't know how much I'll film just because like it is an office like it's a fun agency but it's still like in office setting like people are doing work um, the one girl has been bringing in her puppy Cheeto lately I hope Cheeto's here today I'll show you Cheeto he's super cute uh, and yeah what are you doing Thank <laughs> you. 
Leaving work now. I am exhausted. I almost fell asleep. Um, we just signed a whiskey client, actually, or like they're trying to start a whiskey company. Um, so that's what I was working on. I was doing like competitor analysis through like social media and just like what you can Google about other like craft uh, brewing companies in Philadelphia, other distillers. Um, again, this is a branding company, so basically. We're gonna be giving them a name and like a, a vibe, a feel. Uh, this guy already has hired, actually funny story, the guy that's starting this company, um, when we signed him, his name sounded really familiar. And I texted my mom and brother and as it turns out, he was my brother's allergist growing up. So he just like left the allergy business um, and started a whiskey company, it's really funny. And now like I'm working on his account. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be branding this guy. I don't know anything about whiskey. I'm a wine drinker. They, they like throw these words at me and I'm like, I have no idea what that means. What is, what is rye? Like, I don't, but it's fun. I like it. Catching the train home now and then I'm meeting my friend Mingyu and we're going to H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store chain um, because all he eats are dumplings and I need to buy kimchi and some snacks. So that's where I'm going next on my, my hot Friday. The weather is so nice though. I pan around as if you can like, feel the temperature from me panning around, but it's like 50 degrees today. It's been like freezing, um, despite it being April already, but 50 degrees is, I mean, we'll take it. <laughs> Are you hiding? So we are back from H Mart and basically bingo starts in like half an hour. So we were dropped off via Uber at like Minkyu's apartment and I walked home and we have time to just like quickly put our groceries in the fridge and then I'm gonna walk back to his apartment and then together we're gonna walk to bingo and meet like five other friends. I think there's gonna be seven of us. Um, but yeah, uh, mini grocery haul. Real quick, I have these little custard cakes that I really like. Um, I, they kind of grew on me because Andy had them in his apartment and I would eat them as snacks all the time. Uh, according to Mingyu, this is the like most popular uh, flavor or type or brand or something of dumpling in Korea. He literally bought four bags. I wanted to film it, but I didn't know if he was comfortable with that. But he was like aggressively pulling these bags out of the freezer. It was really funny. Uh, these I liked a lot. I got them in like the CU, the convenience stores all the time. I'm actually going to take that with me to bingo because I'm exhausted. This was my favorite flavor of ramen when in Korea. I would eat this um, as lunch between classes sometimes. These, if you have not had these before, please like find a way to try to get them. They are like ice cream sandwiches, but the like bread part is a fish and the filling inside is red bean and like vanilla ice cream and they are so delicious. Um, this is uh, like soybean soup paste or it's paste for like the beginning of soup. Uh, this is how I make at least two or three of my dinners every uh, week. This is kimchi, self-explanatory. Rice, because I didn't feel like um, buying rice, I had to like boil water for. And then these are gonna be like part of my lunch for the next week, I think. So like rice, uh, the seaweed snacks, these, I call them mini fish, but they're actually anchovies. Um, Andy has these in his apartment, he has this too. This is actually, like this and seaweed and rice was my breakfast when I was living with him for a few weeks before I left Korea. I like absolutely love it. These are little stir fried squids, um, very spicy. And then some fish cake, the little like skin looking things. I don't know how else to describe them. Yeah, that's my mini grocery haul from H Mart. I'm gonna run back and get Minkyu now and go to bingo. <laughs> Hi, Chance. <laughs> Rolling in hot? No, I'm here.
I have double boards and like double nothing happening. <laughs> Status report, I've acquired three boards and still have not won anything. That's two years, almost three years. Is that still you're only allowed to have one board at a time but between the two of us we had five boards and we still never won anything <laughs> we were the ultimate losers what Why are you <laughs> don't walk into poles That's yeah so bingo's over going home it's approximately midnight it was a waste of time I had some good pizza though Hello everyone, I am home for the night. Uh, I got back a little after midnight. It's about 1 now. I basically laid on my bed and called Andy for a bit. Um, actually, while I was walking to class this morning, there was no way for me to record it because I was walking to class. But Andy was with one of his best friends and um, it was almost 10 for me, so it was almost 11 at night for him. He was with one of his friends and um, he called me, because we usually call on the walk to school, and his friend was like, FaceTime her, like, video call her, I want to see her. So he, like, video called me as they were, like, out together. Um, he's never done that before, but it was really funny, and it, like, really um, helped my mood out for the day. Uh, as I mentioned in the vlog before, I've been exhausted. Um, today, I looked back at some of the footage. You can see my dark circles. Um, but I liked hanging out with not just all of my friends, but especially um, Mingyu today, like, when we went to get dinner and we went grocery shopping together. We've been, I think, kind of on the same like wavelength lately. Uh, he recently lost a family member that he was very, very close to and it's been uh, quite hard for him. And I, in the past two weeks, I have had two separate accounts where two family members have been admitted to hospital um, for critical and very like serious life-threatening um, reasons uh, that I won't get into now, but I, I think we're both in a place where it's our first time really mentally grasping the idea of loss and death because my great-grandfather died when I was in uh, sixth grade, but he didn't really talk. I wasn't close to him. I didn't know him very well. I just knew that sometimes at dinner he yelled for the mustard and that was it. So I didn't, like I was sad when he died, but I didn't, and maybe it was because I was also like 12, but I didn't fully grasp what losing someone to death really meant. Um, and I, that's something I've had to be or I've, I've been thinking about the past two weeks. Um, the one family member at least is doing quite well. She's, she's pretty strong, but her future is uncertain. And the other family member is doing well, but also not doing well at all at the same time. Um, and I, I have to be prepared for the worst, but at the very least, I'm glad that they, they both seem to be doing better each day than they were before, but the two of us are just kind of in a place where we're, if we're left alone, we kind of have to face these thoughts, but having like a distraction, like hanging out with friends, like going out and doing something, like getting dinner and grocery shopping, and just being in a different situation and context and atmosphere together, um, distracting each other, like making each other laugh, um, getting away from those weird thoughts, not weird, but like the negative thoughts. Um, it's quite good, so I, we're on, we're on a, the, same, the same kind of wavelength uh, I enjoyed hanging out with him today, and I enjoyed seeing all my other friends, too. There was a big turnout at Bingo. A big turnout. Um, I do want to address Bingo real quick, too. So, hundreds and hundreds of students go, as you saw, and it gets crazy. Like, the lines for the food are out the door, so they have food at 
9 when the doors open, they have food at 10, which is like the middle of the night, they have food at 11, which is an hour before the event closes, and the prizes range from like, uh, like Temple University water bottle to um, a Nintendo Switch, like Xboxes, like Roku TVs, they're, they're serious prizes and people get upset, people get mad, like if other people yell bingo, other people yell no back, and it's just like wild, like you would never expect bingo to be such a hit on a college campus, but it's... Definitely the free stuff, especially the free food that draws people in. It was a good group of us, like seven or eight. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So that was it today. I didn't really plan on um, interjecting that like sad bit at the end there. But at any rate, that is my life. I did rename this channel Rachel Rose Diary because I've decided to document my life like this. Uh, I am not good at remembering things. So it's uh, really important for me to be able to look back at these videos. So sorry that this like started so nice and then took like maybe a like sour or negative or um, just gloomy turn, but uh, that, that is my life. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be happy-go-lucky all of the time. So thank you guys so much for watching this Friday in April of my um, last semester of university. I don't know if I'll do another day in my life. I do want to do a video regarding like looks I have, like <laughs> my easy, medium, hard, like depending how late I wake up, um, how I get ready for the day. Like this was like a 20 minute, I had 20 minutes to get ready look. Um, I do want to film a video like that, I don't know if I'll do another day in my life. But more content is coming, I'm sorry I kind of drifted off the past two weeks. I was going through something obviously. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed my Friday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.